Hi CMS, it's Miss Keenest here. I miss all of you so much and I hope that you're all doing well and staying healthy. Hey CMS, it's Mrs. Piantec and Buddy. <laughs> I miss you. I hope that everyone's able to be outside these past couple days and enjoying the weather. Um, I know Buddy and I are. Hey, good morning CMS kids and families. Mr. Miller here. Uh, just wanna start off saying, hey, I miss you. Would love to see you guys. Obviously, we can't do that right now, but I hope everybody's staying safe um, and staying well and staying healthy, okay? Hey, this is Mr. Langle and this is Kobe, our newest family member. Folks, I miss Clarenceville Middle School a lot and it won't be long until we're together. Hey CMS, what's going on? This is Mr. Kuhn, just wanted to say hello. Miss seeing you guys in the hallways every day. Miss seeing you guys laughing and running around and playing. Miss seeing you guys in class. Um, just wanted to reach out and say hello, that I love you guys and that I miss you guys. Hi CMS, Miss McDowell Hurlbert here. Just wanted to say hello to everybody. Um, I hope you're all doing really good. I miss you. Miss seeing you every day. I miss my lunch bunch. Um, again, I just wanted to um, make sure everybody is doing well. Hi Clarence Hill families, it's Mrs. Achek. I would much rather be talking to you in room 211 than talking to you through my phone. Hey CMS, it's me, Mr. Hapkirk. I miss you guys so, so much. I wish we were all back together again. How's it going out there? Hi, this is Miss Parks. I miss you guys. Hi CMS families, it's Mr. Browning. And this is Remy. Remy, say hi. Okay, or not. Anyway, I'm sending this video to say hi to you guys. And hey, CMS students and families. It's Miss Groves here with Butter. We just wanted to stop in and let you know that we were thinking about you and that we miss you so much. Hey, guys. It's Mr. Cotter. I miss all you guys. Hi, CMS. This is Miss Talia and Tiger. I just want to say to you guys that I miss you and I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Hello CMS students and families. This is Mr. A. I just want to say that I hope you're all staying healthy and that uh, I miss you a ton. What's good CMS fam? Mr. Moore here, man. I really miss you guys. I feel like it's been forever. I can really, really go for a nice day of ISS if I had to be honest. Hi, Clarenceville Middle School. Hope everybody's doing okay out there and getting outside and enjoying this beautiful weather. We miss you guys so much. I hope you're doing all right out there. Hi, CMS families and students. This is Mrs. Ritter and my dog, Jolene. I just wanted to take this time to tell you how much I miss you and I hope that you all are doing really well right now during this time. Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Hilton and Hazel here. Wanted to say hello and that uh, we miss you. Hi CMS! Hi everybody! <laughs> we're still having some fun in our yard even though we're stuck at home and I hope you are too. I really miss you guys, I miss your faces and your hugs. 49, um, hey, it's uh, Mr. Carmody um, saying hello. I miss you guys, five. Um, just wanted to check in with you guys and say zero. Hi. Hi there, Clarenceville Middle School. This is Miss Stetson coming to you from my front porch with my son, my cat, and my dog. I just wanted to let you all know that I really miss seeing you every single day and I miss being in the classroom and our conversations and everything we get to do together. And I'm sad that we won't be seeing each other for a little while. Hey CMS, it's Mr. Levine. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe during these uh, crazy times right now. Hi CMS, this is Mrs. Gillespie and my son Holden. And I just wanted to get on here real quick and say that I miss seeing all of you and I hope you are doing well and that you're safe at home with your families. Hi CMS, I miss you very, very much and I'm excited to be in this video and talk to you about what I've been doing during my quarantine. Hi CMS, it's Miss Dixon here with Chrissy. She's not very excited to be here with us. 
Um, I'm just here to say hello and I miss you guys so much. I hope you're doing well. Hello from Miss Kelly, the OT, just saying hi to you guys and I miss everyone. Hey CMS, Miss Alcheski here. I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to see you again. Hi Clarence, fellow parents and students. This is Mrs. Stahl and my dog Jewel. I hope that uh, during this time off you guys are staying happy, staying healthy, and staying active. One thing that you can do while you're home is try writing in a journal. This is something that I have been doing every day and it's been very helpful for me to get my thoughts and emotions out of my head and down on paper to kind of process how I'm feeling. One thing that I've been doing to stay busy is some puzzles. This is the one I'm working on right now. It's really, really hard, um, but they keep my brain sharp and they're really fun and relaxing and they kind of keep my mind off of everything. I know that you might be getting bored, and so I just wanted to let you know that there's some fun things you can do at home. Um, there's a lot of drawing videos on YouTube. It doesn't matter if you like drawing animals, or if you like drawing people, or you like drawing comics or characters. You can definitely find some sort of a video that will teach you how to draw something a little bit better than you can do right now. Hey, you know what we do at my house? Every single night to pass the time, we play lots of board games. We play Life, Sorry, we even play Uno, Yahtzee. My whole family does this every single night. We sit down after dinner and we play games. Good ideas, huh? One thing you can do with all this downtime is clean your room. I know here we've been working on cleaning our rooms and things like that. I know it's middle school. When I was in middle school, I had the, the messiest room around probably, but now you guys got time. Use that time, clean a room. I guarantee you'll find things you've been looking for, AirPods, things like that. I guarantee you they're in there, but you gotta clean the room up. I hope that you're soaking up as much sunshine as you possibly can. One of our latest favorite things to do is we're having curbside lunches with some neighborhood friends. So we're sitting on one side of the curb with our lunch and they're on the other and it's been really good. And we've been playing like two truths and a lie and who knows me best and that kind of stuff and it's been really fun. Originally we were going to play some cards tonight um, but our plans changed for the evening and everyone is kind of doing their own thing tonight. Um, Girl Bert, say hello. Hello everybody. He's ordering boat parts right now. So we can be ready for the summer. Let's check in on the McDowell boy. Hi Brody. Hi. Say hello. He's playing video game. Shocker. <laughs> but it's a good thing. Let's check in on the other one. Say hi Aiden. Hi. Say also playing video game. This is how they manage to stay connected to their friends during this time. Um, when, you know, we all don't have as many things that we can do. So I'm actually grateful that they are able to do that. I just wanted to let you guys know that um, what I've been doing um, pretty much during this time is pretty much spending my time with him and also um, pretty much spending time with my family and um, also um, doing a lot of stuff for school. One thing I've done while we've been off is to build my finished quilt pile. You can build things too while you're not in school. Something you can build is a card house. I have one in front of me on the table. If you can do better than that, prove it. One of the things I do to kill some time, I take naps. So does Kobe. One thing you can be doing at home right now is being creative and having fun. Forts. Think forts. Forts are fun and they're easy to make. You can make them as big as you want or as small as you want. Throw a couple pillows in there, hang some stars, and lay in there and just let your imagination go. And uh, if you're bored, uh, some uh, zero. Something you guys could do is practice your math facts. 60. Um, and I've seen a bunch of you online already. Eight. 
and you guys have been doing a lot of great work keep up the good work stay busy something i've been doing while i'm at home is a lot of baking i've been using old recipes looking up new recipes i've been com combining recipes together it's something that you guys can do while you're at home too take a look at the ingredients that you have and see what you can come up with i challenge you to bake something at least once while you're at home also it helps you practice your fractions and hoping that everybody is doing good and uh, you're keeping yourself busy um, eighth graders especially um, the stuff that I've been posting for you guys on Google Classroom uh, will be updated pretty much continually here moving forward so you can check that stuff out and keep yourself busy all of the stuff that we're going to be doing is stuff that's aligned to the curriculum so uh, of course if you guys have any questions you can send them to me so anyway um, one fun thing that you can do during this time is rollerblade. Have some fun. Lately, I've been able to do some stuff around the house that I normally don't have a chance to do. I've also been able to spend some good time with my wife and my son Jackson here. Um, we're actually also expecting um, a baby sister um, this fall, so we are really excited about that. One thing that Jolene and I have been doing during this time is we've been going to the metro parks in the area and walking the trails and going on hikes together. Um, it's a great way to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather that we've been having. I'm hoping that you're taking the time and reading a good book. So I just started this one. It's really good. It's by my favorite author, Jason Reynolds. One thing I'm doing to keep myself busy is walking the dog a lot, helping out my parents. One thing you can do while you're at home, something I have my kids do and I do with them sometimes, is called PE with Joe. Little half hour workouts on YouTube that uh, a guy puts on every day. So if you go to YouTube and search PE with Joe, get yourself a little workout in for half an hour. My kids are doing it right now. Getting their stretching in, getting their workout in. Really quick, really simple half hour workout. The channel okay? is actually called um, The Body Coach TV. And it's a great way just to stay healthy and stay physically fit and get some physical activity while we're doing this. While we're away from school, hopefully you're getting outside to get some fresh air and practicing those multiplication facts. And Holden's been riding his bike a lot. And so hopefully some of you are able to get outside and do that as well. One thing you can do during this time to stay active is teach your dog a new trick. One thing you can do during this time is maybe teach yourself something new or teach someone else how to do something. Uh, right now Hazel's supposed to be in puppy classes and those are canceled so we're still trying to learn all the things that she should be learning right now. Um, she is doing very well with things like learning how to sit pretty and roll over but we're still working on things like being sassy and puppy biting and chewing things like her diploma. Who does this? So anyway, work in progress. During this time, one of the things you can do is exercise. You can go on my Google Classroom and look at my videos. You can ride your bike, ride your skateboard, take a walk, or if you have a trampoline, you can jump on it like Colin is behind me. We know this staying at home thing can get kind of boring, but it's the right thing to do and it's our best way to combat this virus. One of the things that we've been doing to keep ourselves entertained is we've been playing our instruments. If you don't play an instrument, you can just pick up anything around the house and make some beats or whatever. There's even apps out there that people have been making music on. Personally, I've picked up my trusty handy dandy harmonica that I used to play when I was a kid, and I'm trying to figure out how to play it again. Check this out. Go 
Trojans. Um, something I've been doing is I've been learning some TikTok dances, and I know my seventh graders would love to see this, as well as any eighth grader or sixth grader I've had before. So enjoy. Why? Need a freak, need a freak, my why? Need a freak, need a freak, my why? Need a freak, need a freak, my why? Why? I'm just uh, trying to keep outside as much as I can. It's one thing that we can try and do so we can keep busy when we're stuck at home and away from each other. And I just hope that you're all finding a way to be active. One of the things that I've been doing to stay busy during all of this is getting outside with my kids, Noah and Olivia, and just running around and playing a ton. I would highly, highly encourage you guys to get outside, enjoy these next few sunny days that we're gonna have, and uh, just enjoy some fresh air. I wanted to share something with you that I read the other day and I wrote it down in my journal. It says, fear and anxiety can be contagious, but so can kindness, love, and hope. Take care of yourself and each other. I miss you guys. I hope to see you soon. During this time, crazy times, um, I hope that you are all staying healthy. It's tough, but I know we will get through it, trust me. And um, again, I hope you stay healthy. I miss you guys. See you later. Um keep in touch please email it's always nice to hear from you guys we will get through this um, but in the meantime it's very important to stay connected all right hopefully we'll see you soon love you i know it's kind of a scary time for everybody and this is something new that we're all contending with but just know that we're all in the same boat and we're all here for you and um we all care for you so hang in there and stay healthy and um hopefully uh We'll be talking soon. I also wanted to say to you that I know times are different right now and things are a little scary, but just remember this too shall pass, okay? We'll be back together soon and everything will get back to normal. We love you. We miss you. Stay in, stay safe. And remember, it's always a great day to be a Clarenceville Trojan. We love you. I just wanted to let you guys know that um, this sh shall pass and I really miss you guys and we're always here for you. And I hope everyone is um, being safe and being healthy. Um, please continue to check in on Google Classroom because we miss you and we want to be able to connect. Um, be well and we'll talk to you soon. So I hope that everyone is staying healthy. Here's my son in the front yard. Say hi, Jack. <laughs> I hope that everyone's staying healthy. Oh, there's the dog, Coco. And I hope that you're washing your hands and that your family is healthy. And I hope that you're getting a chance to go outside. There's my daughter. I hope that you're getting a chance to go outside. We're going on hikes every day. At least you get a chance to walk around your neighborhood and get out of your house. So I will see you all soon on Google Classroom. Bye. I know right now we are in some scary times. I know you're watching the news, Snapchat, Instagram, and all that stuff is showing you guys scary things, but this stuff will pass. I guarantee you guys. I mean, at the end of the day, we are Trojans. You know, we are, this is the time to put that Trojan pride into place, and it's a great day to be a Clansville Trojan. Those sayings and things like that are the times now to use those sayings and phrases. Right here, I have Nora, and I have Milani. Milani, what should the students do? Think positive, be smooth. Okay, I'm with that. Nori? Do not be scared, you're gonna be fine. That's good, that's good. These are my favorite ladies right here. We love you, CMS. Have a good one. I know this is a scary time and I know you guys miss school, um, but I miss you guys and uh, hope to see you soon. So I hope you're having some fun. Just know that you're loved. I love you all, I miss you. And like I said, soak up as much sunshine as you can, especially today, it's gorgeous. Love you! Yay! 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 All right, I know this is a scary time right now for all of us. Please continue to stay positive and stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. I miss all of you and hope to see you very soon. I miss you, stay safe.
stay healthy, and I miss you guys, and I'll see who I can see next year. Be well. I know that you guys might be a little scared right now, maybe a little confused, um, might be a little stir crazy at this point. Uh, but I wanted to encourage you guys, you know, this will this will blow over. You know, I know we won't be able to see each other again this year um, in person. You know, hopefully your teachers are doing some Zoom chats or maybe some Google, uh, some Google Meets or something like that. Uh, but we'll get to see each other again next year. We got some warmer weather coming up. Um, so again, just get outside and uh, enjoy the outside and enjoy this time that you guys get to spend uh, with your loved ones. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I wish you all the best. Take care. During this time, we hope that you just stay healthy, stay connected with us, and um, stay at home like they're advising, and we'll get through this. We'll see you next year. We say everybody's going to be cool. This is all going to pass soon, and we'll see you soon. Right, Kobe? Say bye. I know this is a really hard time for you guys, or for a lot of you, um, but remember this too shall pass and uh, we're gonna get through this. I know the governor said today that we're not going back to school this year, which really breaks my heart, makes me really sad because I really, really miss you guys a lot. Um, but I'm just happy that you know we're all staying healthy and we're spending time with our families and I just really can't wait to see you guys next year. Um, and I really hope that you guys enjoy this video that we made for you. Uh, we, we love you, we miss you, and we hope to see you soon. Um, keep up the good work. I'll see you guys in September and online. See you later. Just want to say that I miss you and I'm thinking about you. And please check in with me on Google Classroom. Uh, stay connected. That is the best way we're going to get through this. Have a great day, you guys. Hope to see you soon. Love you all. Um, I know this is hard for everyone sometimes, but um, I hope you're finding fun and unique ways to connect and do things with your family and your friends and maybe try something you've never done before. Um, Tom and I have been taking guitar lessons, which has been really neat online. We're really enjoying it. So again, I miss you all very much. I hope you're all doing great and I will see you soon. Bye. Hey, stay safe. This will all get by soon. We'll all get together again soon. I miss you. Wash those hands. Have a good day. Bye. Take care. Be safe. Be your best self. I miss you, CMS. I know it's a scary time, a difficult time, uh, just a weird time. It's all right. Stay safe. Okay, we're all going to get through this. We'll work together, and we'll see you real soon. Miss you guys. Bye. I know this is a scary time. It's very surreal. It's something none of us ever expected to happen. But I'm super glad that we have all this technology to help keep us connected. I can't wait to see you guys in the fall. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun. We are missing you terribly. Hope to see you all soon. Stay healthy, stay safe. Hang in there, Clarenceville Middle School. We're thinking about you all the time. I'm gonna leave you with a little project that my daughter did for our neighborhood to help keep everybody's spirits up. Can't wait to see you again. Wow, that was perfect.